God, hallelujah. My br beloved brother, the Lord has shown that tonight here there was going to be a great celebration. And in true truth, the Lord is already doing a great celebration among us. Amen. My beloved, we are going to begin spend a period praying to the Lord praying to the Lord in favor of the needs of the church so that the Lord may save more lives not only save them but to preserve those that one day have been saved this is important so the Lord may continue to save and preserving using his church as an instrument on in his hands one after another may place their their necessity or even their own personal necessity that you may want to uh, share it's no problem we are here in fellowship with the Lord in the body so you also have this freedom to pray and the church will, will follow up on your need and the word says that whatever is connected on earth will be connected on earth on heaven so by faith if you have uh, some request to place in the presence of the Lord we're going together with you connect here on earth amen blessed be the name of the Lord so let us go through a period of prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we intercede to you, plead that you may preserve the families and you protect our children, wives, our relationship, that there may be provision from heaven in our professional life. This month that we've been praying for, that you may open the doors to those that need a job, we ask, Lord, that you may operate salvation to those that are around us at work and gave, gave us boldness to uh, fight on your behalf. We ask, Lord, in favor of the local church, uh, placing the ministry the life of your anointed one the intercession group also pray Lord that, that this ministry may be prosperous in your presence and that every day you may reveal your desire and your will in our lives and Lord remove from among us any spiritual coldness and that your church may be baptized with the Holy Spirit and that it may not be a privilege of one or two but that your whole church may receive this blessing from the part of our God. We pray, Lord, that this in this ministry there may be salvation of lives, and that there may be definitions, and that you remove from among, among us everything, Lord, that may bring difficulty to our lives, our spiritual lives. Lord, that we, we may be a prosperous people in your presence, in every area of your people, your, of your church, everything that your people need at this moment. But most of all, that we understand what is spiritual, and understand what is the will of our God, that we may be opening our ears. Give us a mind that understands what is spiritual, so that we may have always the direction of, uh, from our God. We also pray for the local church in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to pray in favor of those that are ill. They will have mercy. Those that are uh, going through uh, treatment, that you may open the doors with medication, providing resources. And those that need a cure, that you may cure. That your people may not go through suffering, that, but that they may seek you in spirit and truth. You may heal any infirmity from within your people operating everything in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to 
ask also in favor of our nation, of origin. We ask mercy, Lord. We want to see your justice. That you, your, the action of your spirit may be of so with so much mercy that the things that are going to be placed in the proper place, and the spirit of corruption and injustice may be removed for the glory of your name. West Lord, deliverance from violence and deliverance from accidents and mutinies and situations that may bring uh, trouble to the life of your people. Bless them emotionally, spiritually. We ask you for the powers, for the presence, for those that have taken power, for those that you desire to to remain at the head of that nation, that you w remove any spirit that does not come from heaven, that it may be removed. Bless the direction of the nation, of, of Brazil. Bless also the nation that you brought with your strong hand to live in, Bless the United States. We not only came here to have uh, provide a better life to our family, but also to testify of your name. Uh, bless us so that we may not be involved with this world so much that we uh, don't do what you asked us to do here. Bless each one in the government, Lord, that your direction may be with this nation. And that we may say only you are God, God in this country. We bless, we ask you that you may bless the laws in this country, that we may not bring harm to your people. And we ask that everything happen so that your servants, men and women, and the elderly and children that may serve you with joy of heart and in the plenitude and uh, the plentiful of, of your spirit. We also pray in favor of the nation of Israel. Uh, look up on this nation, uh, take care of any any detail, and uh, financially, economically, and especially prophetical. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, intercede to you in favor of the adolescents of your house. Intercede of also to the youth and to intermediary and children. We ask for the blessing of, of the Lord upon our children so that this world may not involve them and so that the uh, the enemy may not surround them. Send your angels to be around them all the time, Lord. Give them also good eyes so that the whole body of the, your children may be lit up by your blessings. So because if the eyes are good, the whole body is blessed, Lord. Have mercy so that they not contaminate with things of this world and desire the things of the, the world and the offerings of this world, the offerings of the enemy. Lord, many times deliver them, Lord. Deliver, deliver our adolescents, your, you, our youth and children. They are small, but it's, they soon will be going to school. And those that are already in school, Give them a deliverance, Lord. Protect them, Lord, from any involvement and uh, evilness of this world and violence of this world. Protect them from it. Protect them from the bad companies, Lord. Protect them by your mercy, Lord. And give the deliverance every day to our children, the children of your, of your church, Lord. Protect them in the name of Jesus. Let us sing that song that says, in prayer, I find peace. What is the number? It will be here in the projection. Let us wait for the brother to to find the projection. So then we can sing. In prayer, we find peace. Speak with God. Let us wait so that everybody may sing together. Okay, let us sing. 
feeling the song fitting of what we are singing feeling what we are singing that gives us strength it gives strength to our faith
Glory to God. I invite the brethren. Let us read the word of the Lord. Revelations 22, verse 14. Revelations 22, verse 14. Blessed are those who do His commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed are those who wash their robes in the blood of the Lamb, so that they may have the right to the tree of life, and that they may enter into the city through the gates. Amen. My brethren, many, many preach salvation through works, but salvation, it is not something that comes through works. Paul, in Ephesians, he says the following, by grace are saved through faith. It doesn't come from you so that nobody would glorify themselves. So salvation to man, it is not conditioned to what is what is uh, what it is that he does and practices. In order to convince God that he has the right to salvation. So, salvation is not something that you have to convince. But salvation is a, a grace from God that was given to men. And many, many are confused in relation to what is the project of salvation because the project has already been established. Blessed are those who do His commandments that they may have their right. Well, blessed are those who wash their clothing in the blood of Jesus. The word blessed means happy are those those who wash. We observe here that the verb wash is is in the present. In the present tense it's not that they wash or that they will wash is that they wash in the present tense. So if I washed a minute ago I have to wash it again. Because the verb is in the present tense. It is not in the past. So blesses, blessed are those who wash. Those are in the presence of the Lord, always washing. Because it is a ne uh, our necessity. In the same way that we have the necessi necessity to have our breakfast, right, or have our lunch or dinner in order to nourish our physical bodies, our matter, our soul also has necessities. Our soul also has necessities of uh, being nourished, uh, of being washed through the purification 
by the blood of Jesus. Blessed are those, happy are those who wash their clothing. My brethren, the clothing, they speak of two aspects, at least, right? The clothing, they speak of your appearance, of our appearance, right? When a person is well dressed, it demonstrates that the person is what they are wearing, right? Isn't it true? So, the clothing they speak of an identity. They speak also of a testimony, right? A person that is dressed especially of, a, of clothing that are of a policeman. They have to honor their uniform, right? Because he is uh, a person is judged by what he's dressed. Because he, he is what he's dressed with identifies him. And our clothing also speak of. Uh, of something that covers us, right? That covers us. When man was there on the Garden of Eden, when he disobeyed the Lord and he ate of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, right? The first thing that he uh, wanted to do was to dress up. It was a necessity, his necessity. And from that point onwards, the broaden will see that man had chosen something that was uh, a stopgap to cover his nudity. But the Lord provided something that was better for him, a dress that that would cover him from his nudity, but also that would protect him. And what was this new clothing? It was the skin of an animal, already pointing out from the beginning to the blood that had to be poured out in order to cover, to cover men. So, blessed are those who wash their clothing. So, salvation. Um, there are people that preach that you, if you are saved once, you are always saved. No. Salvation is something that you need to seek every day. Sanctification, purification, through the blood of Jesus, we have to always seek always washing our clothing. Why? Because we are, my brethren, in a battle, in a spiritual battle. And our clothing, many times, may be sprinkled. Nobody is protected from it, but we have a resource which is the blood of Jesus. Right? It the history tells us that when Luther was there praying to the Lord, when he found out this great mystery that the just lives by faith, because the just would not live of indulgence of buying sal for salvation, because in his time you would just pay for salvation with money. You would go there and pay through the indulgence to the Catholic Church. And and it says that in history that he was in his uh, 
be uh, bedroom and a hand also wrote and listed his sins Luther's Martin Luther's sins in order to intimidate him in order to prevent him from doing what he was going to open up for the world so the enemy went there and began to write his sins look Luther you says this, you say this but you have done this you have done that and Luther said have you already finished writing the list of everything right so now I tell you the blood of Jesus purified me of all of my sins my beloved man was born into sin but the resource is our, at our disposal Amen so blessed are those who wash their clothing in the blood of the Lamb so that they may have the right man has rights and duties but in here the Lord present us a right man has the right to be able to reach salvation man has this right right it's not the accusations of the enemy of our souls that are going to make man lose this right we see there in the book of Psalms chapter 23 which is the psalm that um, which is the psalm of what it, a list of the rights of the sheep the sheep has rights the sheep has the right to to access to green pastures and calm waters and refreshment to its soul from the moment in which it is in the right place the sheep has it this righteous rights so the word says so that you may have right to the tree of life what the man lost in the Garden of Eden we know that in the Garden of Eden there was there were two important trees the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and also the tree of life which was planted in the center of the garden which is Jesus the tree of life is Jesus man lost this right but through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ man now has this right to enter man has the right to access to the tree of life and to enter into the city through the gates my brethren this is a great right that man has man enjoys this right the right to enter through the gates right no we are not gonna enter in heaven because of our own philosophies or, or our own, own arguments or because of theology no we are going to enter in heaven through the door through the blood of Jesus through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus in the cross of Calvary blessed be the name of the Lord and I also would like to read the brethren don't, don't have to open up the Bible but Revelation 7 13 says the following then one of the elders answered saying to me who uh, who are these arrayed in white robes and where did they come from and I said to him sir you know so he said to me these are the one who come 
out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. My brethren, we know that we are going to, not going to go through the great tribulation because the church, according to um, the studies of the book of Revelations, we are, we are going to be uh, we just uh, witnessed the beginning of the tribulation, right? But we will only be victorious, we will only arrive in heaven with our robes white, only through the blood of Jesus. It's not going to be by our own merits. It's not going to be like, I never missed a service. I never missed an early dawn service. I was always at church. And this is worthy of praise. That's great. It would be great if everybody did that. But this is not sufficient for us to enter into the heavenly city. Right? There are many, they are fulfilling their religious duties but we are not going to enter in the in heaven like this through philosophy through our theology through our own merits lord when now in closing i like to say that when the lord enter into the temple and he sees two situations two men right one was saying look I give tithes. I fulfilled. The, I follow the law. I'm extremely. I'm. Ex I follow the law extremely. Everything that Moses Moses wrote. And the other said, "Lord, have mercy on me, because I'm poor. I'm a needy person." And the Lord. Gave uh, bless this poor man because salvation or justif justification will not be purchased. It was it is going to be given freely because by grace you are saved through faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May God bless us and that we may every day more and more exercise our faith pleading to the Lord washing our robes in the blood of the Lamb Amen let's sing the song glory forever to the Lamb of God glory to Jesus what is the number? six hundred 6624 glory forever to the Lamb of God or to Jesus the Lion of Judah to the root of David
church, stand up, please. The Lord has shown. that we are, we are being conclaimed for a great celebration. And it was necessary in order for us to enter into this celebration that we needed to have our robes white. And a few that were there, the angels, they observed that they were not, their robes were not white and the angels would tell them, there is still time. Go, wash your robes and come back. Blessed be the name of the Lord, right? Because we have not heard yet the voice of the groom. There, there was no longer time. When the groom shouted, they, didn't, they no longer had time, but we still have time. There is time for you to wash your robes and you need to make yourself right with the Lord. We need to place our life, the youth, in the presence of the Lord. Seek the Lord while there is still time, while we can still find it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we praise you and honor you, Lord, because a great mystery, your salvation is a great mystery. Let's be your name, Lord, because one day you have been able to reach us. You placed in our hearts this faith. faith. Bless be your name, because today we now understand that we have this right to enter into the celestial city. That's where we're here, Lord, praising your name for this so great salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. And I wish everyone the peace of the Lord.